We got the false start penalty. Got the false start, moved it back five, and decided just to run it again. Um, that was not supposed to be ran like that. There was supposed to be nobody on that side, and I was still supposed to throw the ball, but they had like three guys over there, so I just told myself, be a ball player. And that's what I did, kept my feet, and then just threw a 50-50 ball to uh, Jake Breeland, and he came down with it. Then I started celebrating. Front left, Steve. Charles Willie said one that you had told him this week, the one thing you had never done was thrown a touchdown. So was that one of your messages to him? And two, he said he thought he was rooting for you to run on that. Was there a thought that if you got around him that you might run instead of throw? So everybody thought I'd be selfish and just run the ball. But I'm a team player, so you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm looking for a touchdown. <laughs> we good? Um, I don't. I'm, I'm sure you remember two years ago, Braylon Addison threw you a touchdown pass. How did it feel? I know you just broke down uh, the play itself. How did it feel emotionalized to be on the emotional wise? Excuse me, to be on the other end of that. As a receiver who never gets to throw a pass, and nobody ever let me throw a pass, <laughs> it felt really good. So, might have been my best touchdown here yet. Charles, how many times did you guys run that this week, and how successful or not was it when you practiced it? When was the last time you, you practiced it too? We ran that play one time all week. It's one of those plays that you don't really practice. You don't know if it's going to get called. Got down there, and it got called, and I was super excited. Like, I might have been smiling to the guy that was guarding me, but, yeah, made it a play. What day was that? Might have been Tuesday. Rob, you were practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Rob, you don't remember? Uh, Arion, uh, what was it like going and seeing number nine uh, on the other sideline? Was there any playful banter uh, throughout the game? Uh, it was a fun time. Um, you know, we heard throughout the week the DBs. You know, Darren's this going to do this. Going to do. He had good. He had some good yards, some good plays. But you know, um, overall, I felt we did great, and we uh, stopped him from scoring because you know, everybody was like, I wonder what he's going to do when he scores a touchdown. We'll never know. But um, I felt we played really good, though. I feel you know, and it was fun. And I clapped. I shook his hand during some couple plays, but um, tried to keep it very competitive. Right now, front right, Amber. Troy, there were so many times today where Utah would drive and you guys would push them back, hold them to a field goal, kind of end that drive early where they could have gotten a touchdown. What was that like? I know in the past weeks you have talked about ending drives, not giving those points. What was it like to actually do that today? Uh, it was great. I mean, you, you saw the energy on the sideline, on the field. Guys were just having fun. I mean, like Arion said, we trusted the DBs today, and they went out there and did their thing and held their own. Front seven went out there, and we held our own. And at the end of the day, when you hold your own and do what you need to do, you come out with a W, and uh, we're just happy with the outcome we got. And we're just going to get ready for uh, Washington next week. Here, on the right. I'll go with Troy. Uh, back to back here. Coach Taggart said that instead of practicing on, practicing on Sunday, he had – the entire team watched the film to learn so everyone can see everyone else's mistakes and know that you can win without Justin if you clean these things up. How did that maybe help you guys all realize that everyone needs to play better to pick up the quarterback situation? I mean, like you just said, I mean, everybody was in there watching, so everybody saw what everybody was doing wrong offensively, defensively, special teams-wise. So, I mean, just to see that everybody has room for improvement shows you that we can't all put the blame on Braxton. Uh, he goes out there every game and does his best, but uh, everybody has to pick up the slack around him. And I think we did a great job about that tonight. Uh, we still have a lot of room to improve, and we're going to work on it this week. we got to get into the three room tomorrow and just we'll watch over this game, uh, get the 24 reboot, be off of him, and be uh, focused on UW. This is for Charles. Hey, so obviously today was a, a great game, but you know the, the the past two seasons have probably not as gone as well as you would hope to. Have, you know, hope to see them go. Um, but wh how have you stayed so driven during that adversity? And and what have your been your goals cl as you close out this season? Um, just that tough times don't last. Tough people do. I took that from Coach Taggart. <laughs> but uh. No, I just try to see the brighter side, the positive things and, and everything, and just hope for the best. Arion, as a, as a senior, um, this puts you one win closer to a bowl game. How important is it for you as a senior to go out with a bowl game? And, for this, and, and also from your perspective, for the young players on this team to have that extra weeks, extra weeks of practice and have that bowl experience. Uh, bowl games are always fun, you know, it's just more like the teammates being around each other, all the camaraderie is the best part of it, you know, we just go out, do things as a team, and um, just play one last game, and everybody knows it's the last game, so it's like this one big last hoorah, you know, playing with certain guys, you know, you get a little emotional sometimes, but it's just a fun time, you know, it'd be fun to do that, so we just got to keep chucking, getting the win, getting the bowl game, yeah.